So let's quickly cover how to write uh, scripts and custom modules for um, Polybar here. So comparing it to like let's say DWM, it's a little bit, I guess, more layered because not only do you have to write a Bash script, but you have to also write a module configuration so that um, the Polybar knows where to place this and the formatting for it and things like that. But anyway. It's not too bad. So the first thing that I'd say you'd have to do is you have to figure out exactly what you want your script to do. So I'm just going to go over a very simple script here that just I have running here on the bottom right that just displays uh, used RAM and the available RAM here. So it's very straightforward, right? It's like any other bash script, right? Um, so what do I do first? I gather the RAM that's used then I gathered the RAM that's available and then I just echo it out right so that echo is the the return value that uh, polybar will pick up and so I'll show you um, how now you configure it within polybar within the module itself but just a quick note here let's say you want to write a uh, a script that uh, if there's no output right you want this to clear here and what I found is that if you do an echo and you just provide like an empty string like that polybar will actually clear out whatever module you had there so let's say if I were to um, echo like this it will disappear okay. see so now it's gone that's just a quick tip right because, uh, you know, sometimes, I mean, I, I love these things, but sometimes the documentation doesn't always tell you all the details. You really have to dive into it. And so, I mean, I read a lot of documentation about this, but I, I don't remember seeing that. Maybe I skimmed over it. I'm not too sure. But anyway, so once you've formatted your string however you want it to be, right, you can just close out your, um, your script. And... Uh, you, you make it executable, of course, right? Then we go to um, our configuration here for Polybar. So let's just scroll down to where the module is. Let's see. I think we're almost there. Yeah, RAM use, here we go. So uh, you first give it a, uh, a name, right? And you start out by opening the bracket, typing module. For every module you make, you have to say module and the slash, and then give it the name, the unique name, which is going to be RAM use, right? Then the type is going to be a custom slash script, right? Because it's your custom script that you're making. Then you have to say it's an executable. So uh, we then link the script file here. And this is where mine is. So it's in my home directory within scripts within bspwm and then this is the script name ram.sh so then we have to give it uh, the label so the label we're just going to set to the output of the program of the script sorry um, now there there are other formatting methods right so that you can get I think ramp but you have to define more within the script I think I haven't really delved into that but I think that to write a simple you know script like this uh, you can do it all within the script and then just pull out the output right and then you can do some formatting here right so what I did is that I set the format equal to this like chip followed by the label so that's why it's printing out down here the uh, the chip and then the actual RAM information so then uh, you can set the, the background in the foreground uh, and I chose to just keep it you know the blue and then white and now this is uh, kind of important so if so let's say you want to write a script that keeps track of some information and changes depending on what the new information is if that is the case then you would want to set there's another variable and it's called tail and this is true now um, what is tail tail tells uh, polybar that the script is like continuously putting out output so it continues to read but the way that this script works is that 
not the script, sorry, the module, the way that it works is that it runs and it dies, but it's always calling itself, right? Because it doesn't care about the past, right? You don't care if like, you know, last second there was a uh, 1.2 uh, gigabytes used. You want to know what's happening now, right? Because you want to see what's going on now. So that's why I set it like this to uh, execute this every second. So the script doesn't live in memory. And if you were to do that, you should probably uh, have a while loop run running infinitely and then you do your checks and whatnot so anyway after you've defined all of this the interval is just the uh the time that it runs so the frequency so every every second i have this thing running because it's ram you know ram changes very very quickly so you should probably have it running quite often right but anyway so if we go back to our bar definition because now you have to tell it where you want this thing placed right and uh, so we go right here on the modules right side I have the CPU information right which is this here and then following after that I have my uh, my module my custom one which is uh, RAM use so that's pretty much it for writing your own scripts it's really neat um, because I think that there are extra features compared to like DWM where it's just a direct output of uh, of a bash script so this might be a little bit more work especially if you really dive in and you try to make your system more unique but it can come out really nice looking you know and really unique but that's it for uh, for this tutorial if you find this useful which i hope you did uh please like and subscribe